Sidekeek is a popular Ruby gem and the leading background processing engine. It utilizes Ruby threads to efficiently scale processing for input-output, heavy background tasks. The gem relies on Redis as a queuing backend for jobs, resulting in reduced infrastructure overhead and improved performance. Sidekeek is designed to simplify usage with modern Rails applications. The gem can be added to the gem file of a Rails application. A job can be created in the app Sidekick directory to process jobs asynchronously. The perform method in the job class is used to define the actions to be performed. Arguments passed to the perform method should be simple, basic types that are supported by JSON. Jobs can be created using the perform underscore async method and can also be scheduled for future execution using perform in or perform at methods. Sidekick can be started from the root of the Rails application to process the jobs. There are three components involved in using Sidekick. The Sidekick client, which runs in any Ruby process and allows you to create jobs for processing later. Jobs can be created by calling the perform async method on the job class or by using the lower level generic API, Sidekick client push. The arguments passed to the job must be simple JSON data types as more complex Ruby objects may not serialize properly. Redis, which serves as the data storage for Sidekick. It stores all the job data, as well as runtime and historical data for Sidekick's web UI. The Sidekick server, which is responsible for pulling jobs from the Redis queue and processing them. The server boots Rails, providing the full Rails API, including Active Record, for use in jobs and workers. The server instantiates the worker and calls the perform method with the provided arguments, while the rest of the job execution is handled by your code. To improve your experience with Sidekick, follow these rules. Make your job parameters small and simple. When using the perform async method, ensure that the arguments passed are simple JSON data types, such as strings, integers, floats, booleans, nulls, arrays, and hashes. Avoid passing complex Ruby objects like symbols, named parameters, keyword arguments, or objects like date or time. Save simple identifiers instead and look up the objects when needed in the perform method. Make your job idempotent and transactional. Design your job to be safely executed multiple times. Use techniques like database transactions to roll back data changes in case of errors. Remember that Sidekick executes jobs at least once, not exactly once, so handle scenarios where jobs can be rerun even after completion. Embrace concurrency. Sidekick is designed for parallel execution, so design your jobs to run in parallel. Sidekick provides features for tuning concurrency, such as targeting a Sidekick process at a queue with a defined number of threads. Utilize connection pools to limit the number of connections to resource-limited servers if your Sidekick processes are overwhelming them. Use precise terminology. In the Sidekick ecosystem, the term worker is ambiguous. Instead, use the terms job class, thread, process, or job to refer to specific components. For example, Sidekick job is a module included in a job class, and starting a worker refers to starting a process. To configure Sidekick's connection to Redis and optimize its performance, consider the following. Set the Redis URL using an environment variable, such as Redis URL. You can also set the Redis provider environment variable on platforms like Heroku to specify the name of the variable that contains the Redis server URL. Configure Redis in an initializer file using the Sidekick configure server and Sidekick configure client blocks. Provide the Redis URL in the config Redis hash for both blocks. If you're using cloud-based systems like EC2, Heroku, or faced with unpredictable network performance, adjust network and pool timeouts to be more lenient to avoid timeout errors. Use an appropriate Redis topology for your needs. Single node setup offers no fault tolerance, while Redis Sentinel provides fault tolerance by failing over to a replica in case of primary failure. Redis cluster is not recommended for Sidekeek as it has limitations regarding performance and transactions. Monitor and tune Redis by examining its config variables, ensuring data fits in memory, and using separate Redis instances for caching and Sidekick. Be aware of common causes of Redis networking timeouts, such as CPU overload, swapping, and high command latency. Manage your concurrency, monitor resource usage, and reduce latencies when necessary.
The Sidekick configuration file allows you to configure various aspects of Sidekick. By default, the configuration file is located at Config Sidekick. You can create this file if you need to set advanced options such as concurrency, named queues, etc. To specify the location of the configuration file explicitly, use the CE flag when starting Sidekick. The Queues option allows you to define named queues for Sidekick. By default, Sidekick uses a single queue called Default in Redis. If you want to use multiple queues, you can specify them either as command line arguments or in the configuration file. Each queue can be configured with an optional weight, and queues can be processed in a specific order or with random priorities. The Sidekick Options method allows you to control the behavior of individual Sidekick jobs. You can specify options such as the queue to use, whether to enable retries, whether to save error backtraces, and more. Default options for all jobs can be set using Sidekick Default Job Options. By understanding and configuring the Sidekick configuration file, you can customize the behavior of Sidekick according to your specific needs.